Yeah, I know that. Well, you say yes. I thought we would have discussed that. <laughs> well, thanks for being there, Rich. I'm charging my phone. Oh, shoot, I, I do need it. Um, it's low. If I'm going to stay up here. I'm your guy. I'm my guy. Actually, we're all kind of guys. Let's face it. Um, do you want to go underneath that window in there? And I'll just monitor to see who comes back in line.
I will I will um, get us uh, started, and I will call the legislative committee of the whole together. Uh, for those of you watching, it's uh, an entire. It's uh, all of the board members are on our legislative committee of the whole, and so uh, I'm calling the meeting to order. And uh, with that, I would uh, ask for a motion to approve the agenda. Move approval. Second. Thank you. Second. And thank you. It's been moved and seconded. I'm. I'm. A, yeah, me is on there. I'm assuming someone's taking all these minutes. Okay. <laughs> Um, great. Thank you. It's been moved and seconded. Um, all those in favor. Well, actually, now we have to take a roll call. So I'm going to ask me to take the roll. Or do we have to do that for the legislative committee? Or can I just ask for? Oh, okay, good. Thanks. Oh. Um, all those in favor, um, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, motion carries. Um, then I'm, I'll ask for a motion to approve the minutes from our last committee meeting, which was December 1st of, uh, well, from our last, our last committee meeting, which was, so yeah, yeah. Second. Okay. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Seeing none, then all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, motion carries. Uh, now we will, uh, our, our agenda for today is to uh, uh, review and approve our, uh, our federal, our, our state and federal platform uh, agendas. And so I just want to give a little bit of a uh, background on how, where, where this all started and just to give kudos to our amazing uh, government relations team of uh, Jennifer O'Rourke uh, and our director and Melissa Finnegan, our specialist. And then we have uh, teams of uh, uh, consultants that are helping a team of consultants of Elizabeth Emerson and Pierre who are helping us as well. But it's really with the help of, uh, of many members of our Ramsey County staff who have been working hard to give proposals and ideas for how to make their work easier by getting some legislation passed. And so um, Director O'Rourke and, and Finnegan are, are, have been working these last few months on really gathering that information and uh, getting this proposal in front of us today. You will all remember that we did have a workshop on all of this on October 12th, where we first heard about these, um, this proposal and we were able to give feedback. And so now, at this committee meeting is where we'll get a more formalized a version. We'll approve it to be uh, moved to be uh, voted on at our board meeting in uh, December. So um, with that, I'm uh, just hopeful that we'll be able to have some discussion on any other items that we need to have discussion on and then uh, move these items forward. So with, with that, um, I want to just say also that some of these items um, may need a little more fine tuning before the board meeting, but uh, that's what the purpose of this committee hearing is all about, is to actually uh, fine tune and make sure that this wording is was what we would like to see in our, uh, in our platform. We've made some changes to the platform, and so you'll be hearing those uh, as we ask Director O'Rourke to walk us through uh, any additions and corrections uh, to this. So thank you. Welcome, Director O'Rourke. Thank you, Madam Chair and Commissioners. I have with me today, Melissa Finnegan, who is the other half of our government relations team. I know our contract lobbyists may be listening in. They are not part of our panelists, nor are we, were we expecting to call on them today. So any questions that come up, either Melissa or I will handle, or we will come back to you with more information later. I do know she has a few uh, resident experts from the health and wellness team who are participating today should we uh, need more feedback or uh, go a little deeper on anything. I'd like to start out by just letting you know that uh, we did move the schedule up a couple of weeks from last year. If you recall, the Legislative Committee of the Whole happened on December 1st, and this year obviously we're two weeks ahead of schedule. Uh, Ms. Finnegan and I wanted to give ourselves more time to work with all of you and our legislators on our actual priorities uh, and everything. 
Just a few notes before I get into the highlights. I will present these and Melissa's on call, like I said before, to help with questions. And we will try to take care of those at the end, if that's all right, Madam Chair. I would remind you, all underlines represent new language and strikeouts are suggested deletions. New this year, Chair McGuire asked that we be more specific with every platform item to show whether it was a support item or whether we plan to lead on an issue. Uh, Melissa and I went through both documents to reflect that request, and I think it was a great addition to a really good document and will help those who read it to better understand the action we need at the Capitol. Before we, before we go, sorry, Director Rourke, before we go any further, I, I can't believe I didn't acknowledge, of course, the team, which of course includes Commissioner Mattis Castile and I, who, uh, with uh, Director O'Rourke and, and Finnegan and our other team, we've been meeting weekly um, every Monday to talk about these issues. So thank you, Commissioner Mattis Castile, for all of your work, uh, as I think of you as my, my, co, my co leader in this effort. So thank you for that. Thank you, sorry. Thank you, Chair McGuire. I'd also point out that sometimes Chair Carter or Matt Hill joins us in that. It's been a, a good touch point to talk about, you know, any kind of public relations issues for the county, whether it's at the federal level or the state. So we often refer to that as the legislative team. Uh, this official gathering of all of you is actually the legislative committee. So with that, we'll dive into the state platform. On page nine, we restructured the legislative priorities to actually be buckets, if you will, that align with the strategic priorities. And we came upon that decision after meeting with Chair Carter and Commissioner McGuire earlier on in session. I think it's a nice reflection of the important work the board does and senior staff uh, always having those strategic priorities in mind. Page 11, uh, we do have support items for bonding right now that only includes Gibbs Farm. I might uh, suggest we should include Riverview Corridor and our the small bonding ask that we had last year because that was a bill that is technically still alive. Um, we should have that, that in our platform, at least for awareness. And then maybe consider uh, adding uh, St. Paul's number one ask, the Kellogg Avenue Bridge at $26 million too. Page 12 includes new language around mental health issues uh, at the suggestion of our local services department, excuse me, social services department. I'd remind you that you spent a lot of time on this at the last meeting. Uh, fingers crossed, there's a lot of momentum to address this and we'll be working with both county partners and other uh, mental health advocates on these items. Page 14 includes uh, changes to human services program improvements, making it easier to apply for assistance and more assistance to working families. You may have caught the article in the newspaper on either Sunday or Monday related to that in the Star Tribune. Uh, procurement positions on that page as well. We have a new position coming out of our finance department with procurement staff. This proposed change was advanced last year by Hennepin County, but didn't quite become law. Uh, seems like the kind of thing that we would want the associations and whatnot to take on for us, but the truth is Hennepin and Ramsey are, you know, being the larger counties are more apt to need this kind of flexibility. Uh, I'm told by staff this would help us align and do easier work with uh, all the federal changes and whatnot happening. Page 14 uh, contains a number of platform items that came through Melissa's part of the shop. Uh, we've consolidated things, I think, underneath pr child protection reforms, child care reforms, and child support reforms. Page 18 um, starts the economic competitiveness and inclusion. I think of this page as where all our EGCI work lives. We've added three new positions. Uh, that I'm happy to see in our platform, one on digital equity, one that's more of a defensive position on any attempts to shift transit costs to county. This was in light of efforts from both the administration and Senate Republicans. And then finally, uh, this is where we decided to put climate change. Underneath justice system, we have added a sentence on gun violence in our gun safety position. And have two new positions on this page with state state tort liability related to the state fair, as well as an administrative change we'd like to see for the Ramsey County Law Library. Finally, on the last page dealing with housing stability, we've added some more detail to our current positions just to show that we're using American rescue dollars and aligning that uh, important money with both our partners, but also our uh, regular work. 
And then finally, on the last page, I'd point out this is where our many partner associations in, uh, reside in just uh, uh, positive statements saying that our, our work aligns with those and that we support legislative recommendations coming out of our local units of government, which are very oftentimes cities. I might pause there for any questions, Madam Chair. Are there any are there any questions where, uh, as we said, we've had a workshop on all of these items. So this is um, a sort of a recap of the things that we uh, hopefully that we talked about in our in our workshop, but that um, we wanted to get more clarity on or wanted to add to this. So clearly now is another time to have discussion on these items if they're not uh, portraying how we might have uh, wanted them to be on here. So with that, I have a question from Commissioner McDonough. Yep, thanks, Madam Chair. Uh, first off, I just want to recognize the work that the team has done on here. This is really pulled together, I think, you know, various thoughts from all of us and and priorities from staff and 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 really strengthening this document and trying to keep it concise and and readable and um, helpful and beneficial to legislators, but that at the same time recognize the breadth and depth of the work we do in the county. So good work on that. You know, I'm pretty straightforward on, on things. Early on, you suggested maybe adding um, <clears throat> direct support for the city of St. Paul's Kellogg Bridge. I don't doubt one bit that's a priority. I do struggle because I, I think we've done really a nice job of helping support St. Paul and being successful on a number of projects throughout the years. And to be honest, I just have not seen that level of support from the city for our pro priorities. And We've uh, watched as, you know, we've kind of waited our term to, uh, waiting our, our time, turn to tee up uh, uh, the park at River's Edge here. This is our time on that. And I really think we just need to stay, stay totally focused. I think, you know, it's more than appropriate to be, you know, have a line at the end where we're supporting uh, partner organizations and, you know, typically we'll support the city of St. Paul's legislative packet but you know again i'm just being very really direct here on this the park at river's edge is absolutely critical for us to move forward a major development thing here you know if i would have seen a stronger uh part true partnership of the city and in, in how we move forward on on um shared interest um especially when it comes to bonding but it seems like they're very focused on their projects and pretty lukewarm to helping us on ours. So those are just my honest comments. Thank you. I I appreciate that, Commissioner McDonough. And okay, I'm gonna yeah, have we should have some discussion on how we want our platform to reflect this. So Commissioner Matas Castillo and then Commissioner Fetham. Do you wanna say are you on this point, Commissioner Matas Castillo? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, and I appreciate your comments, Commissioner McDonough. I just want to add is that um, the team has worked really hard to kind of change that relationship. And I think we're in a different position than we've been in the past. Uh, we've done several uh, tours of River's Edge and work there that um, the mayor has has been there alongside us uh, to make sure that they're, we're, we're really delivering this whole develop along the river as a package and that we're not competing, but that we're in complement of each other on those projects. Um, I, I've, I'm feeling a change of heart. I'm hopeful that that will continue. I'm hearing um, our city elected officials also support that kind of change of seeing the greater vision of this partnership and this really important work. We've also been working really hard with the St. Paul elected delegation of our um, house reps that sometimes were the opposition and not as supportive and we're seeing a different energy. And so I attribute that work to you know, Jen O'Rourke and, and Melissa and Mary Jo and um, Commissioner Carter really working hard to change that. So uh, I'm feeling like we're in a better place than we have been before on projects. And I know uh, it will, we'll have to wait to see if that comes out in what we're feeling right now, but I, but I am seeing a change uh, in support levels on this particular project. Uh, thank you for that, Commissioner Mattis Castillo. Commissioner Fretham, are you still? I'm going to stay on this point. Is it okay? Can I? Can will you hold on yours? Then I want. I. I can. I believe maybe Commissioner Carter may want to comment on this, on this particular point, and then we'll come back to you, Commissioner Fretham. So, Commissioner Carter. Thank you. I do believe that is a very important point that you have raised, Commissioner McDonough. 
And I would agree also that we have not been as strong, as strong a position as we would like in speaking for uh, the work, the comprehensive development of the riverfront that includes Ramsey County and St. Paul specifically working together. I'd also agree as Commissioner Maddox Castillo has pointed out that we've been working uh, diligently for that kind of partnership and we're beginning to see evidence but the proof of the pudding is in the eating. So we do want to, as we enter into this next legislative session, create that partnership and see the evidence of it. You know, I would think that we can in the legislative committee and with our liaisons working together with St. Paul, see that happen and determine the timing at which we add uh, stronger support of St. Paul as we see stronger support of Ramsey County from St. Paul. So I'd ask that we not lean in toward a decision on that right at this point in time, that we, but that we remain open to seeing that stronger partnership evolve quickly. Just, just so that I'm clear, Commissioner Carter, and just so that we're all clear about what we're talking about, um, Director O'Rourke, you recommended that we add it to our support other bonding requests. So part of this approval of our of our platform will be that it in, that it it will include the the St. Paul project of the of the bridge and um, under support other bonding requests. And you were recommending that we add the um, I, I call it the smaller bridge, but the the um, the bridge in St. Paul. And then another item. There were two items that you wanted okay. to add to this support item on the bonding request, what were you recommending? Thanks for the question, uh, uh, Chair McGuire. I, what I was suggesting was going back, would be including a support item for Riverview Corridor. Oh yeah. And I'm looking at Commissioner Ortega a little bit as the Regional Rail Authority Chair. Uh, he's quite aware, but uh, there is a bill at the legislature, a uh, small request of like $2.5 million. Uh, this obviously is, still our project as opposed to purple line transitioning over to the Met Council. But um, it is technically our bill from last year that's still alive. Um, it'll be, a, legislators understand it wasn't one of the three that we put into the MMB process, but that would be a place to at least reference it. We could also reference it, just leave a reference back in the, um, tra on the transportation page under EGCI and it would be appropriate there too. Um, I th I'll wrap up with this. I think uh, Chair Carter kind of pitched it up. We can come back later and, you know, it doesn't all have to be in this document. If at some point we wanted to pass a resolution of support for other people's bonding projects or write a letter of support under your name or the, the chair's name, we could certainly do that at any point too, to show more support for a project. So, so what we are determining now, because I'm glad you pointed that out, we, this is a, even though this is now going to be a printed document, the, our platform is a living, breathing um, document. It's, it's, uh, it's something that we do add to and maybe take away from as, as things move throughout the session, but this will become our, our more formal printed document that we would be approving today. And so we do want to just decide whether we add those two now or, or put them in later, which means they won't be. Um, they'll be on our platform, but they wouldn't be on this initial printing of a doc of a document, which we we send to our legislators and we have. But but basically, I would say that the current document would be the one online that we'd be using because, as we know, this one may may change uh, a little bit. But I'm going to continue to take some um, comments on this, Commissioner McDonough, and then Commissioner Ortega. Yeah, thanks, Madam Chair. Maybe just to help close the loop. 